Hey guys, so tonight we're going to make a picture of Zelda, um, the character. So we go to explore here and search for um, Zelda from video game. Um, then go to images. Um, yeah, here's a good one. So, um, you find this picture online, and then um, you open up your paint and get ready. So, I like to use a nice um, paintbrush tool, and you get started with the ear. Um, and go over to the hairs. So, if you notice, the mouse is a little bit uh, smoother tonight just because I bought a new mouse recently uh, that doesn't jiggle around as much, so my drawing should be much more lifelike. So he has a sort of fin thing coming out of the back of his head. Um, you can give it razor teeth if you want to go on a realistic edge. Um, let's go over there. Um... Looks like he's got some sort of eyes here, so you draw both eyes. You know, angry eyebrow. Um, some pupils. Nose. Mouth. It's got kind of a lower lip there. And goes down like that. And his other hair. Okay, now for his dress, you go over here, and his arm, he's holding some sort of a sword, so you give it its bat wings, and the sword, finish his hand here, make sure get each finger. Um, yeah, so, um, okay, so it looks like we're kind of running out of space here, but that's okay. There's a tool they know is perspective that lets you not draw the whole thing. So you can, I get his lower him here. He's got some sort of metal shovel, so you get the front of that. Um, yeah, you got the front of his shovel there. Uh, don't forget to draw the gear inside of it. Some sort of, like, techno monk here. And for... I guess it's supposed to be, like, the medical logo. You've got the staff here and snake going around it. Uh, uh, um... Excuse me. Um, he's got a... show he's a peasant, and then he's got a belt holding up his dress here. And uh, that's his, um, that's Zelda. Um, then to finish, you draw this brick wall. Um, before then, you bake him green. No, that's not right. Um... Uh, you like look for a hole in this, dude. No, it's, damn it. <sighs> okay, I, I, I gotta tell you guys something. Um, when I made my first video, the the hand solo one, I pretended I didn't uh, know the Star Wars things because I didn't want the, the viewers to think I was this big like. Star Wars dork, and, um, and I pretend I looked all this stuff up, but really I just knew it in my head. So, um, so this this week they said that um, all the Star Wars books aren't real anymore, and they, they aren't canon, and I I won't stand for it. I I'm really mad. I I I don't I don't really know what to think anymore. I it's it's a really uh, okay, you know, this this video is how to draw the Star Wars Expanded Universe. So, first you um, 
draw a really cool castle that everyone likes. Everyone likes it a lot. You Here's the ground. Here's a castle spire. Uh, people can look out of it. It represents the books. Um, here's here's the castle. Maybe a big tower on it because it's really cool. It's, there's there's another spire because there's um, many books in Star Wars. Uh, here's a big gate in front of it that represents the video games. And then um, you you draw a bunch of happy people in front. It, that, that's a balloon, actually. These are happy balloons that represent people having a really good time and, and having a cool time. Uh, so here's how you here's how you draw that. You draw this cool thing, and then you just take the eraser and you just get rid of the whole thing. You get you get rid of the whole thing for no reason because it sucks and you suck and it, there's just no. And I'm I'm sorry, guys. There's just no point here. Um, I, I don't know why they did it. There's, there's no good point or reason to any of this. I, there, uh, look, there's Zelda. There's, there's Zelda right there. There's just, there's just no point. 